Hi, and welcome to Brain Candy. I am Anne, the founder of The Candy Factory. We're a co-working space and social club located here in Lancaster. And today, I have the pleasure of having photographer Carlo Gessner on the show today. Welcome, Carlo. Thank you for having me, Anne. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Carlo. A little bit about myself. Um, I moved to Lancaster in 2008. Uh, I was dating a girl at the time, and uh, we are now married, so that is happy ending. Excellent. Yeah, happy ending <laughs> in that story. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I photographed for Fig Magazine for four years. Uh, I also currently shoot for Susquehanna Style, uh, and I do a lot of headshots for Armstrong World Industries. Fantastic. So you are an experienced photographer. I've known Carlo a long time. Um, many years when you started your photography journey back in 2008. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Crazy how time flies. So today you're going to be talking about um, how to look natural for your headshot. Tell us a little bit about that and the first tip about opening up. Yeah, opening up. I mean, headshots are all about connection. It's all about human connection. So whenever you get into the studio, you should make a human connection right away with the photographer. Mm. And also, you know, a good photographer will make that human connection as well. So talk about the things that you care about. Uh, talk about your hobbies, your family, your pets, uh, your kids, all that type of stuff. And basically get into, you know, the natural flow of conversation so mm. you can somewhat forget that the camera's there. Gotcha. So make yourself comfortable, open up. That's a great tip. The next tip is to smile or not smile and that's okay. What does that mean? So a lot of times people feel pressured to smile right away. And most people, there's, there's a certain level of getting used to the camera mm -hmm. and that type of thing. So if you're feeling a little nervous and you try to smile, it's not a good look. So um, right off the bat, if you don't feel like smiling, you know, just give a nice professional look. Uh, if you do feel like smiling, let it happen, you know? Uh, the most important thing is that the resulting headshot should look like you, should look like a, like a real expression uh, with a smile. The, the mouth should match the eyes. The eyes should be smiling as well. And uh, people really pick up on that. So you don't want to look too serious. Not too <laughs> serious, yeah. You don't want to be you know, staring anybody down uh, you know, from a marketing ad or anything like gotcha. that. So um, yeah, if you're going to do the more serious look, add a little warmth to the eyes, and we'll help, help coach you through that. I like that warmth idea. It just kind of still softens things. Um, and the last tip is not to overanalyze. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so um, after the headshot session, you'll immediately be able to see your photographs mm -hmm. uh, that were taken. And uh, there's going to be some good ones. There's going to be some ones that are a little off and things like that. And sometimes people get into this analysis paralysis, and they'll just look at the ones that they don't like. Gotcha. And start picking things, start picking themselves apart a little bit, right. which is which is never good. So. So, um, you know, as, as we're going through the photos, as they're scrolling through, really the best technique is figure out which ones or react to the ones mm. that make you stop and look. Mm. And there's a reason. It's an instinctual feeling. Um, and, you know, that's the thing is in the first three seconds, if a photo grabs you and engages you, uh, that's important. Mm. That's kind of the mark. And if it's engaging you, it'll engage the public. That's a really good tip because we do overanalyze um, and pick out you know, my hair looks out of place or makeup's not perfect, but I like that going with your gut. What is that three second, what does your gut tell you in three seconds? It's really helpful. Um, so you're also part of the Candy Factory. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, I feel like I dated the Candy Factory for like eight years. <laughs> um, and it was, I was in, I was out, I would day pass, I would drop in, I'd get in these conversations, and then where's Carlo? He's not, he's not a member. Yeah. You know? So um, that happened, you know, for the first few years that I was here in Lancaster. Uh, and then when I became an independent photographer in April, uh, you know, leaving my previous employer, uh, basically I went independent, went straight to the candy factory, and it's been a great home uh, ever since. Uh, I feel really engaged with the community here. I uh, love the resources, and it's, uh, it's nice to have a, an owner that cares. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Now, I know that you have a really handy PDF that um, on your website we'll also include in the show notes. Tell us a little bit about this PDF that people can download. Yeah, so the, the PDF is entitled, uh, What to Expect from Your Headshot. Uh, and it talks a little bit about the tips that I just discussed. Uh, also gives you a quick checklist on things to do the night before, before your headshot. Okay. Uh, so, you know, a sample is you don't want to shave the morning of your headshot or else you get red skin, oh. do it the night before. Mm. Uh, we've also included some color palettes uh, as well 
that you know people can choose from. If you're trying to match up an outfit or something like that, it's best to go with more neutral colors and things like that with maybe a little pop of color, but nothing that distracts away from who you are in your face. Oh, that's great information. So we will definitely include that in the show notes. Tell us where people can find you. Okay, they can find me on the internet at www.carlophoto.com. That's Carlo with a K, uh, no S. And also, uh, if you go to uh, any social media site, pretty much, well, Facebook or Instagram, sure. not any social media site. <laughs> but Facebook or Instagram, you can find me, just search Carlo, K-A-R-L-O, Gesner, G-E-S-N-A-R. I'm the only one in town, so uh, I should be able to be easy to find. And definitely check him out if you want to look great in your next headshot. He's the guy, so. Um, and you could probably have your headshot taken here at the Candy Factory. So thanks for joining us, Carlo, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me in. Excellent.